Things have changed a lot in the photography industry and the creative industry in general. And if you don't adapt to those changes, you're gonna feel stuck with your camera, you're not gonna be able to make money with photography and you're gonna feel super lost and you don't know where to start from because I've been there myself years ago. It's almost 10 years since I left my country, Spain, to pursue my dreams as a photographer and creative director in London. And I'm super proud of myself because yes, I did make it and I'm full-time freelancer, but it took me many years because I didn't know how to do things. And that's why I wanted to do this channel as well, because I didn't have anyone to teach me, to mentor me, to guide me a little, or even to motivate me, okay? Because I had so many voices of family and friends telling me that photography is not a job, where are you going, Laura? In London there is a lot of competition, you're not gonna make it, photography is not a job. If you have those voices anywhere, please get rid of them or don't listen, okay? <laughs> because we live in an amazing time right now and everyone needs photography to be online in social media, for websites, and there is a space for everyone and for every single level of photography. I will tell you more about that later. So basically, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to my younger self and to you to try to help you to don't feel that lost with your camera and try to make money, start making money, because it's not as hard as it seems. Okay, it's our own limitations because I was thinking to myself it's impossible, it's very hard, but then when I realized it was possible and I was believing in myself, is when I made it. So we are our worst enemy, we sabotage ourselves. So hopefully in this video I'm gonna try to help you to remove all those limitations you have in your head and I'm gonna tell you under my own experience in London for 10 years, working for many people, many businesses and even becoming a creative director for a fashion company, I'm gonna tell you how it works nowadays and how you have to approach the business to be able to grow and make money with your camera. They always won't work anymore. There is this misconception about photographers having to focus in just one niche. You have to narrow down to one niche, you have to know what you want, you have to grow, become better at it, market yourself in that niche and just shoot that. And this is super wrong, okay? And I figured it out myself because I love photography. I love shooting landscape photography, I love shooting travel photography, I love shooting sports photography, I love portrait photography, and I wasted years of my life without knowing how to start my business because I didn't know which client to target. So, okay, I realized later I wanted to be a creative portrait photographer and it's what I enjoyed the most doing, shooting with music artists in London, shooting with talents, shooting with models, I love that, but I still shoot within other niches, first of all because I love it and second of all because it did help me a lot to become a full-time freelance photographer. Why? Because if one sector is bad, I still have clients in the other sector. And the best example is during the pandemic. I'm a portrait photographer and I couldn't shoot with people. So what I did because of my skills and because I didn't limit myself to one niche is to target product photography clients. So brands were sending me products at home so I could be alone shooting from the comfort of my home studio and I was making money. So don't focus on the niche. If there is one niche you love, like me, portrait photography, yes, focus on that one, but then remember that you can target clients in other niches as well and this is gonna help you to become a full-time freelance photographer. Because in London, I found out that many photographers are not as versatile so then clients came to me because they knew I could do lifestyle shots for the brand, I could do fashion shots, I could do portraits, I could do everything. So I really encourage you to don't focus on just one niche, maybe expand yourself because you're gonna have more possibilities. And another limitation that many of you have is thinking, I know this because you guys email me sometimes with these questions and I happily reply because I'm very honest, okay? I'm very honest. And so many of you struggle because you believe that you have to go to the university or spend six grand, ten grand, a lot of money to study photography. Going to the university can have its benefits, so this is up to you, but you don't need it. You don't need it. Like, I'm a graphic designer myself. I studied in the university graphic design, and then I found out that I love photography more, and it was my hobby. I have learned a lot through YouTube and through Skillshare. But through Skillshare, mainly I'm learning filmmaking because as you know, I want to deliver better videos and I love filmmaking, so I enjoy it a lot. And Skillshare is very inexpensive and YouTube is for free. You're gonna have a link below for a free trial of Skillshare and during the free trial, you can watch every single course you want. 
So I highly encourage you to check it out because it's quite good and other photographers that do courses there. If you want to go to the university, that's fine. If you have the money for it, that's fine. But just to tell you, don't limit yourself thinking, I don't have money to study, I cannot become a photographer because you can do it without it as well. And another misconception is that you need a lot of gear, a lot of lenses, cameras, blah, 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 to make it as a photographer. Because we tend as a beginner to look up to other photographers. So that's what I was doing myself. I was like, wow, this photographer has five lenses, very good ones, this camera, wow, of course he, she made it. It's not like that, okay? They started like us at the beginning. I started with a kit lens and I was super upset and I understand that if you are upset as well because I was with a kit lens and the quality was average. But nowadays, average quality is good quality, you know, because the gear nowadays is very good. So don't limit yourself about gear and experiment with one lens. I did have one versatile lens and with that I shoot a lot of niches and I was making money. And then when I had the money, I invested on my business. I wanted new lenses, new cameras, and then I grow. But we always start with little. So don't put the limitation of the gear because with one lens, you can do already a lot. And a huge limitation for me in London was not having a photography studio because I love creative portrait photography in a studio and I do work a lot with music artists. So I was like sabotaging myself. I don't have a studio. I don't have money to pay for it because the rent in London is freaking expensive. So it's like, there is no way I'm gonna rent a studio. So you follow my channel, you know how I grew as a photographer in London and was having my own home photography studio. So think about this possibility. I do have an amazing video where I tell you how to do a very affordable home photography studio even in a small place. So go check it out later because if you are thinking about the studio photography and you are limited by it, you can have your own even in a room. I did that in London with music artists. I brought them to my room. And at the beginning, yes, I was shy, but then it's like, they care about the quality you give them, not about where you shoot, okay? At the beginning, I was terrified. It's like, how oh, I'm gonna bring this music artist to my room because before I was sharing flat, now I live alone. But I used to share flat with four or five people because in London it's like this, it's very expensive. And I was like, whatever, you know, if I want to make it, I had to break the ice and bring people home and shoot in my studio, in my tiny studio. And the quality was good enough. And then I lost the fear. And this helped me to become a full-time freelance photographer in London. It's super, super affordable. And if not, if you don't wanna have a photography studio at home, you can shoot outdoors. I enjoy lately a lot shooting outdoors because you can get as creative as you want. So the location shouldn't be a limitation to become a photographer neither. So now that I've got rid of all your mental blocks, or at least I think most of them, if there are more, please comment below because I'm gonna try to help you out. And I want to get to know your fears or why you are not able to make it, okay? Comment below if you have more fears than this. These were my main ones, so I'm hoping it's gonna help you. So we're gonna go to the next chapter and I'm gonna tell you how you have to approach photography to start making money. The new approach to become a freelance photographer as quickly as possible. The answer for this is after 10 years of experience in London and working with many brands and many individuals creating new businesses, is to be a versatile photographer. Or even if you focus on just one niche, target brands. And the good thing about this is that you don't have to target huge brands because most likely if you're a beginner and you don't have the level, nobody's gonna hire you, okay? I did this mistake as well. I used to target high brands and I'm thinking about that. It's like, how the hell, Laura, you were so confident to target these brands? Like there is no way they would book you because my quality wasn't good enough. So we are very lucky that nowadays with the online business, Everyone is creating e-commerce websites about everything. About jewelry, product photography, food photography, clothing brands, homeware. I don't know, whatever you can imagine, you can take pictures of. And this is the best way to make it as quickly as possible as a freelance photographer. Because the only thing you have to do is to target brands. And there are tricks because of social media. We are very lucky about this as well nowadays in the creative industry. Brands need monthly content creation. This is a trick I use a lot because what I do is, okay, some months maybe I have clients, some others I have less and I used to struggle. So what I've learned is, okay, so maybe if I offer a discount, maybe they can hire me every single month and I offer them professional content every month. And most of the brands, they need monthly content because they need things to post 
on social media professionally, professional pictures. So most of them agree with me. They pay me a little bit less in exchange for the loyalty. So in a monthly basis, they were paying me so I could create content for them. And this is an amazing trick so you never run out of clients. You can target whichever brand you want. If you want to shoot jewelry because you like to shoot jewelry, target jewelry brands. There are millions of them, new businesses as well, so the level of photography is not that amazing and you always can improve it. Then maybe you prefer to shoot product photography in the food industry, so you can just shoot food photography. If you want to shoot portrait photography and fashion, like I do a lot, just target clothing brands and work with models and you can even collaborate with them. So you have many options here and there are so many new brands that you can help nowadays. Steps on how to start making money with your camera. You need, the first thing you need before approaching anyone is a portfolio. No, Instagram is not a portfolio. I don't know how many times I said it in my channel. It's not a portfolio for many reasons, so I'm not gonna repeat them, but you need a professional website. And years ago when I started photography, 14 years ago already, websites were very hard to have because you needed to design them yourself or pay thousands, okay? And I still had one. Since the very first moment I started photography, even as a hobby, I did have my website. So if you are taking photography seriously and you really want to become a freelance photographer, please take it seriously and have a website, a good looking website, very clean with your best photos. And this makes all the difference. You're gonna have as well your personal email, you can have a blog, you can sell digital products if you want, the possibilities are endless if you have a professional website. And you don't need to know about graphic design either. You just need to sign up for a website building platform, choose a template and swap the images. That's it. And then with time, when you learn, you can customize further, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming just to have a simple website very clean with your best work. And it's super cheap nowadays as well. So you don't have an excuse really. And the one I use, and this is not a sponsor, even if I should because I promote them a lot, but I really love the platform is Squarespace. Squarespace, I did have so many others and I really love Squarespace because it's a super clean design, super easy to use. They have so many templates and very customizable as well. And it has so many features for creatives. So I think it's very good. And you're gonna have a link below for a free trial. So please, <laughs> I'm asking you please at least try it. You don't need to sign up. Just take the free trial, check it out, Experiment with your photos and see how amazing it's gonna look your portfolio and then decide if it's too hard for you Squarespace, if it's not. If you have any questions, ask me as well. And please, if you want me to do a video about how to make a photography website in Squarespace, let me know because if it helps you, I would be very happy to do it. There are many other platforms anyway, so if you don't like Squarespace after the free trial, you can choose another platform. I don't mind, but please have a website if you are taking photography seriously. And what do you have to add to your portfolio if you don't have clients yet? This is something you ask me all the time. And I was there as well. I didn't know this at the beginning. I didn't expand my mind enough to think about that. But you don't need clients to have a portfolio. You just need to figure out which client you want to target. I'm gonna put you an example. This is great. I think it's gonna help you a lot. So for example, if you want to target jewelry brands, you need a portfolio with jewelry. So what you're gonna do? You don't need to spend money. Take some jewelry from yourself, your girlfriend, your wife, your mom, I don't care, or even buy some if you need, and then do some product shots at home. Or you can even collaborate with friends, family, or even with new models. So many models want pictures for free and they want to collaborate with you for free photos. So just work with a model if you like as well and do a portfolio. Potential clients who are gonna visit your website, they don't need to know if that was paid work or not. They don't need to know that because all they care about, and I promise you that, is the quality you're gonna give them. So all they're gonna take is the work and they're gonna be, okay, I want these pictures for my brand. That's it. They don't need to know that wasn't your client and it was your mom or your sister who was posing for you. They don't need to know. So please don't limit yourself. And same with other niches. You can get creative at home, do a nice portfolio, and then put that in your website and start pitching clients. So in that portfolio. So with any niche, you can do this. And this is gonna be amazing to build your portfolio and have your first amazing pictures in your website. Research brands. And this is way easier than you think with LinkedIn, with Google, and with Instagram. My favorite way to find brands is on Instagram because all the brands are there. 
And I'm not gonna go into depth with this because I do have a full video explaining you how to find clients as a beginner. And I'm gonna link it down below so you can watch it later. And be very realistic. If you check the brand and you see pictures and you see you can improve them, then approach that brand. Otherwise don't do it because most likely they're not gonna book you. You have to send emails Stop thinking, like I used to, that with a few posts on Instagram, a website, and a few posts on Facebook, people are gonna find you. They don't. It's very hard to find new photographers nowadays. And I was thinking that, I was like, oh, I don't find clients, how I'm gonna be found, who I'm gonna market myself. The best way is pitching brands and writing emails, sending emails. This is the best way, this is how I managed to make it as a photographer. And don't send two, three emails, five emails per week, and be like, okay, I did my job. No, I know it's very time consuming because it's very time consuming because you have to adapt every single email to every brand to do it properly. And it takes a lot of time. But do you want to be a photographer or not? <laughs> you're gonna have to do it. If you send five emails, maybe nobody's gonna text you back and you're gonna be discouraged and you're gonna give up. No, don't do that. Never give up, please. It takes time and it takes to build a portfolio to be able to make it. But if you send 50 emails in a week, I promise you that at least five, 10 clients are gonna come back to you. And if you really redacted the right email, and I struggled with this a lot at the beginning, I didn't know how to look professional, friendly at the same time, because you have to do both. So it cost me a bit to finally see myself getting bookings through my emails. So I do have a free template I'm gonna put down below, and it's a really good base to start from. So you have to add that email to every single brand, but you're gonna see in that template how you have to be friendly and professional at the same time. So you can grab it down below, it's in my private community, which by the way, if you didn't know I have a private community, you can learn more from me with monthly exclusive videos, monthly exclusive tutorials, free resources, and also I'm now doing giveaways of some of the products I'm receiving from brands. And there is currently one going on, so you can go check it out later. Please watch the video about how to get clients regardless of your level, because it's gonna help you a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet, like the video if you took something good from it, and I will see you next week. Big love, ciao.